Hi everybody, welcome back to Divinity Original Sin 2. Apparently Ken wants to go down into the cellar to talk to, um, this guy. Corbin, the Fletcher you rescued from Roost Anlon at the Culwood Mills, sparks to life at the sight of you and breaks into a great grin. Oh, this guy. Oh yeah! Oh, I mean, hey, how are you? All settled in myself? Can't tell you how glad I am to be here. And thank you for bringing me. They're quite welcome here. I feel it, you know? I really do. Inspector's By wares. All means. Oh, he has um books. And bows. They're actually not bad bows. I mean and he's offering them all for free, right? Because we helped them, right? No no, no. No. No, no, he's not. Uh but the right side, there's a painting of a magister. The fucking trash. Fuck out of here. Alright. Um, so I'm gonna go sit at my table. Or, no, that's not my table. What the fuck? Like, we have a bear rug in here. I just assumed Fletcher it was... Fletcher Corbin Day. What? Well, who? What? Yeah, that's the guy we rescued from the, the mill. <laughs> How'd he get over here? Um, apparently he has, uh, the Witchel powers of teleportation. I'll talk to him, see if I can... I think we're buying. There really isn't. The bow sucks. I already saw it. Why are you making us waste your fucking time here? We could have talked to Malady, you know, she could have been yeah, like... You know what? I, I wanted to, like, check our options. He sells Doctor Arrows. She would have been like, I'm the final boss, and then we would have killed her, and then and then we'd be seeing the credits right now. How are you doing for Doctor Arrows right now in Sabeel? Uh, I have probably fucking tons. And also, <laughs> I have a foot and a bar of soap. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude! I have I have 16 knockdown arrows. This guy's like the twinkle eyes amulet. It's divine ri Rarity. I'm eating a foot, okay? A lifeless elven child is cradled in your arms. Your vision blurs with tears. You look away to a raised valley below. Tendrils of death fog dissipate, revealing a victorious Divine Order army advancing. Humans, magisters, murderers. You know, the real fun is trying to figure out where the fuck you got it from. <laughs> <laughs> I have the absolutely no, cont no context with that foot whatsoever. Oh, did you also steal a bunch of shit from the place? Uh, from which place? Oh yeah, yeah, I did steal some shit. Just some chests lying around. Well, I want to see if to the add to the pile. I want to see if the demon child is awake. Because before we leave Jahan here, now nah, demon child is still here. The fuck are these two people doing here? Dallas's assistants. As you approach, the silent monk puffs a bit of air from between her stitched lips. She seems agitated. The silent monk cocks his right ear towards you, then his left. He appears to be awaiting instructions. Why are they just, like, here? Whatever. Okay. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Rearmor on the wall. Who's handsome or rear can't? Oh. I'm gonna slap my lizard dick on that fucking mirror. Teach I don't know, him. man. Teach the mirrors, boss. Alright, fine, let me go open up, uh... Oh, we got dyes, we got this, we got a cursed oil barrel. Let me put that on there. <laughs> oh, it's just, fucking... it's just golden water balloon. The fuck? Yo, why is it the meme, like, you just throwing water balloons everywhere? What do you mean? I don't know, you just you just don't do that. Alright, I'm, I'm talking to Malady and there's nothing you can do to stop me. Except, well, except this mug of wine. Oh shit, something's stopping me. Be boring. You love mugs of wine. Boring. All right, saving it. Let's go. Ah, there you are. Um, tell Maddy a bad news. Meister, uh, Meister Siva has died. I don't even know who the fuck that is at this point. It's been so long. Still isn't. Okay. Her eyes like... flash with something, anger perhaps, or fear. I, but never mind. We better focus on the task at hand. Oh, oh, that was oh that lizard bitch, right? The one that. The one that yeah, the one that gave us the good sh the good shit. Oh yeah. She looks straight ahead, ignoring you. Oh, why is she ignoring me? You got a message from her to return to the ship. I was just lounging about on the deck, contemplating a most peculiar thing. I hear that you were told to learn everything you can about Source, and what do you do? Refuse such knowledge when it's offered to you on a silver platter. Is that correct? Um. The teachers wanted you to do unspeakable things and it wasn't worth it. Or no. Tell your god woke and not her. Her decisions don't involve you. <laughs> the 
They don't involve me, do they? Think again. What you do involves all the realm. It's unbelievable, really, how someone with the power to become a god can be so incredibly naive. But I guess there's no use crying about it now. What's done is done, and we still need to move forward. She thinks for a long while, chewing her lip. She suddenly nods, as though a decision has been made. Stand back, say nothing, and above all, be grateful. She closes her eyes and starts chanting in a low, inscrutable language. Her voice changes, dipping into a register lower than you thought possible. Her eyes roll back in her head, and she starts to shake. <laughs> Shaping too strong. <laughs> Step back and watch. <laughs> she, she, can't, she can't reach someone in combat. Suddenly, Malady's face drains of all color. She gasps, as though stricken by a terrible pain. Done. I know where we need to go. It seems all the riffraff's back aboard as well. Ready to set sail when you are, your holiness. Alright, we're all ready to sail. What's up, screaming? Tortured roar. Could talk to the boat, but yeah, I guess we'll just go. Fuck the boat. Fantastic. Now, on to the interesting part. After many adventures, the party finally reached the place where Godwo can go to become divine. But more surprises and difficult choices awaited. Subtitles seem kind of desync there. <laughs> eh, don't worry about it. They'll fix up in post. Yeah, the game's a bit. Scamping all the access, access, you understand? Yeah, all really the access, yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, Sibyl. Sibyl slides her hand in yours. Makes your heart skip a beat with her particularly coquettish smile. No, she's talking to me. Oh god. No, she's not talking to you. She's talking to me. Molly's what? talking to me. Oh well, let me talk to Sibyl first. I've something I need to tell you. Sibyl's telling me things. <clears throat> Say you love it when she smiles at you like that. What, you wonder what you did to earn it. You earned it just by being you. Aww. Gently squeeze her hand. You see. The thing is... She scrapes her throat, hesitates, almost as if she's a bit nervous. There's a first. I... I'm afraid you're going to accuse me of killing the mood, but... I need to talk to you about the master. <laughs> Even sigh of frustration, <laughs> consider the mood killed, no. Uh, uh, the master, is there something amiss? No, not anymore. Or... So I hope. My dear sweet prince, I've grown to trust you. More than I've trusted anyone since. Since I've had names on my skin. Uh. Look her in the eyes and say you're proud to have earned her trust. Wasn't easy, I know. Come, sit down with me for a moment. You oh, shit. sit down, cross-legged, knees to knees, hand in hand. Suddenly, a melody. Sibyl sings a song, haunting in its simplicity. She uses no words, sounds rather. It's beautiful, yet somehow menacing. Oh yeah, Sibyl, your, your head is glowing. This is my Scar song. It's all the Master needs to make me his slave once more, unless your voice opposes his. I will soon confront him with you by my side. My life and my liberty I place in these soft, strong hands of yours. Will you sing? I will do anything. Good answer. Her cat's eyes close as she leans in for a kiss. Beat her lips. You kiss. It's sweet and wonderful. You wish it could last forever. My word. You both get up and smile to one another warmly. When you hear a sound in the distance and turn to look, Sabeel pats you affectionately on the bottom. Adventure calls, but I say we do this again sometime. Alright, it's your turn. You need to do this with uh, Beast. Well, I can't because Oh, okay, fine. He fed stuck talking to Melody. Melody, here we are. Well, of course you'd talk to the arena champion. Of course. The name was Isle, and I, here I thought Melody was unimaginative. Still, it's what's on the inside that counts, isn't that right? And this is the place you're meant to become a god. 
I can't help but wonder exactly what you intend to do with such a power. Tell her you'll do what needs to be done for the good of the realm. I have no doubt about that, but do remember, you can do what's good for you, too. All things in balance, you know. You'll want to hurry now. Divinity is waiting, after all. Ask her what you should expect on the island. Excellent question. Normally, this place ought only to be known to Godwoken, but judging by the ships burning in the bay, there's been a uh, breach, let's call it. Regardless of who's on the island, all that matters is who ascends. Make sure that's you. The strongest will survive and ascend. Take your leave. Oh, she hey, told beast. Me. Wait, wait, wait. Go kiss him. <laughs> do we need to read this? Yeah, 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 do it. Ever strike you that life is just a series of islands? Like, you put down roots, something that's been upended all, and then you sail off and put roots down somewhere else. It's just islands, one after another. Uh, hmm. Point out a contradiction. How can someone re rebelling against power be so keen on becoming divine? You think I want to be the head of the order? <laughs> All I care about is dealing with that royal arse pain, and a divine sure as hell would be capable of doing just that. I ain't thought beyond there, and I ain't gonna prime that pump till I have to. Uh, give him room. He's a big boy, you can figure it out. I know I'm fumbling along here. I know the ways of royalty and the ways of piracy, but I know shite about divinity. All these people looking to guide me, and I'm still no sure how one divines or whatever. But hey, you make good fumbling company. Beast looks left, then right, then down. Unsure if his compliment hit his mark. <laughs> Don't be rude. Is he DTF? Chuckle and tell him you're enjoying it too. Beast flashes a relieved grin and absent-mindedly begins to twist three strands of beard hair into a braid. Oh shit. <laughs> oh. oh shit. With the hot coffee. <laughs> about Queen Justinia. Let me tell you a story about Justinia. I think we were, say, age 10 at the time. My pop was off who knows where, spreading his seed in that oh-so-charming manner of his. So let's just say the court had its hands full. There was a big reception one night, the ridiculous kind where all the ladies wear dresses and all the men wear finery. Yeah, everyone looks starched. Everyone acts starched. So I decided to surprise all the noble farts at dinner. Snuck into the kitchen. They had a giant boar on a platter with an apple in its mouth. Longer than Laura herself and not much fatter either. The cook put the lid on and set it down for the steward to take. And then I made my move. I dragged off that pig when no one was looking and stuffed it in a floor cupboard. Then I crawled onto the platter and pulled the lid up over me. It wasn't too long before the steward showed up and wheeled me into the banquet, none the wiser. <laughs> Nod your head excitedly, yes, and? You can't guess. Some stuffy duke yanks off the lid and good old beastie jumps out. Caused quite the stir. Queen wanted me gone, but little cousin Justinia, she had my back. Told Queen Laura it was all her idea, and she got a whooping on her backside and sent to bed without supper. So the point is, well, I ain't sure. I guess that she has a good heart, but somewhere along the way it got soiled. Uh, I ask you any thoughts on where to go next. Forward. I oh, great. <laughs> I know it's probably not the answer you wanted. But I can't think of much else to say about it. <laughs> Weird, right? One of us will ascend soon, and... Well, there's only one divinity. We've got choices to make. And we can't put him off forever. Take your leave. Wow. Well, Alright. Here we are. The next uh, hill. We it's have what's this. on the inside that counts. Uh, same I same thing she said to you. want to hurry now. Depex, okay. so regardless of who's on the destroy. Okay, there we go. All right, let me see. What does this guy want, Gareth? Gareth greets you warmly. He's oddly chipper. More chipper than you've ever seen him. And certainly more chipper than most people mourning dead loved ones. I should thank you. I don't know what came over me. 
Praise Lucy and I had you to put me on the right track. All right, uh, so it's a pleasure to help. How's he holding up? Not bad. Took some time to think. My parents led good lives. I'd rather celebrate them for the love they gave me than to wail over their loss. Besides, we have work to do. Once we anchor at the Nameless Isle, I'll scout ahead. See if I can help locate the council and ease the way. I'll report to you on what I find. <coughs> uh... Uh... <laughs> joke with him. Hope it goes better than when he was scouting in Fort Joy. Yeah, I'm gonna say that. Right you are. Right you are. Luckily, I've learned a few lessons. And as you know, I have a pretty good punch. Gareth winks farewell and hums to himself. You recognize the tune. Blessed and bold. A hymn praising Lucian. He sells that warfare stuff in case you want uh, something warfare related. I'll go check what he has. So why didn't you kiss dwarf? Like, the fuck? I tried. What, are you gay? Very. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna talk to this person. I have plenty of fighters for hire. Oh, Thanks. we don't need this person. Oh, I see. Uh, alright, what else is here? Uh, I'm gonna go down to the hold. Let's go see. Are all our paintings intact? Thank God. Thank God, oh, God everything that is just- across the dude? Everything- what, was, what happened? Just the way we left it. Just the way we left it. Good, good. I'd like to take a look at what I've been working on. I'm just, uh, I'm gonna see if the fucking devil child is awake now. It's honestly the only thing I want. I like how the ship is not unexplored to me, as if I've never been here. Why did we take this devil child with us? And why are it's these two fuckers still the here? Doesn't acknowledge your presence. Yeah, well, fuck you guys. Are is Talkman Dud making our shit yet? I, I don't know. Well, where the fuck? Uh, here's a... the destination oh, pyramid. I, I can't come to you. Something blocking you. I have no waypoints. I have to walk everywhere like a pleb. Can't even fucking way pyramid to you. Wait, is there panties in that fucking room? <laughs> Did I just see panties and socks here? The fuck? Yeah, there's fucking panties here. The fuck? It must be real. Don't worry about it. It must be your room. <laughs> Could be your room. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There hey, you're you the one banging Sabeel. Hey, no, we got the bedroom right here. I call this fucking place. Gold pile empty. How's our gold pile empty? It's full of gold. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. I wonder. Are you, you know, I wonder. Remember that sh that shit that we we fought like a bunch of monsters there. I wonder if uh, what, if there's anything new down there. Let me have a look. Because we never did look at there again. Uh, well, there's still um, still the void fuckers here, but whatever. They're they're still dead. We just we, nobody ever cleaned up the corpses. But in case you need source points, you know where to go. We have dinner in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, so where's Tarquin? Was he not down here? Uh, no, he wasn't. Uh, that's where I looked. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to the up here. I mean, I want to talk to Hand though. Hand's, Hand's my fucking bro. Also, Tarquin. Get some of that pixie dust. Actually, I literally do not know where Tarquin is. Hello. This He's right over here. Something else, huh? I'll bet I can find many interesting ingredients. Whoops. Oh shit. Ingredients here. Uh, ask him if he fetched anything for us. Of course. Told you I would, didn't I? All right. Uh, we could use a thing or two. What else do you want now? You want more pixie dust? What do you want? I mean, I, I chose last time. You should choose this time. Uh, Fucking, I don't know. More pixie dust. Why? Why not? Or oh, source oh, orb. A source orb. <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah. You just find this. I'll start hunting <laughs> that down right away. Yeah. Fuck you. Oh, I'm you gonna can also find us more black rooms when we get high again. Man, I thought you came prepared. I thought you brought the fucking herb with herb with you. Oh, there's Tarquin. You're right. I yeah. Quite a journey I found myself on with you. Is this where it ends? I wonder. Uh, note this island seems to be rife with dangers. Uh, might he uh, be able to offer any advice on how to proceed? Hmm. Dangers indeed. You can almost hear the sounds of battle when the wind shifts correctly. And where there's battle, there's bound to be mercenaries. Glechu Duma, the words of the lone wolves. No doubt my former comrades will have them in their employ. Speak their words, and you might pass. Speak their words, and you might pass. Consider it a token of my thanks for the assistance in retrieving anathema. Uh, ask what he meant by f his former comrades. Who did he serve? <sighs> Pursuit of my interests has led me to fall in with some 
disreputable company in my time. For a short while, one such group was the Black Ring. I know, I know, not something to be proud of. But they let me do as I wished, so desperate they were for aid after the Death Vault cut them down to size. A fine arrangement, until they started preaching about this God King and his infernal covenant. He snorts derisively. The last thing this world needs is another would-be god, and an army of fools willing to follow him. That was his covenant. It's a sop to all the fools who think that someone will grant them power and immortality in return for loyalty. This god king has caused to make war with the Seven, and the Covenant is how he's gathered his army. They become sworn, as it was put to me. Bound to serve, die, and be reborn for the god king for as long as he wishes. Then, at some ill-defined point in the future, they think they'll be rewarded. You should have seen them all. On their knees, worshipping a new tyrant just to spite seven old ones. I got away from them while I still could. Unfortunately, Dallas was waiting to snatch me. Uh... Order, he tells you what he knows about the God King. There's a clue in the name. He's a god, or something that wants to be a god. Continue to march to the Seven's Beat, and I'm sure you'll find out exactly what he is. They're all the same, you know. Tyrants, liars, carrion birds. The best thing would be for them all to destroy each other and leave the rest of us to live in peace. Uh, I'll turn to other matters. Uh, uh well, how, what have you done with uh, a cinema? My efforts continue. I must admit it's quite an intricate piece to work with. Even for someone like myself. I remain confident of success, though. Alright, took leave. Alright, let's go. Going to the beach. Ah, oh, yes, the Nameless Isle, of course. My old friend. And there's porched corpses here. Oh, uh, meals. Dinners. Uh, Razzle Dazzle Grenade? Alright, you found? Oh, I love Razzle Dazzle Grenade. A nail, bo uh, nail bomb for you? Yeah, there is shit here. Bodies have been purged. Uh, essence for Tahaka. Talk I mean. is selling some weapons. Anyone look at the Tahaka? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Who else? All right. Has some hair too. Mm, this bow's okay. Well, I got the our first waypoint. shrine of a particularly strange design. Ninety-six damage to one hundred and seventeen damage. With a benign power. For what? A two hundred weapon? For what? For what? An axe? A bow. A bow? Fuck that, no. Hers, hers is way better than that. Oh, dude, a runic hat. It's not very good. What is this, TF2? We don't need hats. Uh, a finesse helmet that gives Huntsman and Scoundrel and Hydrosophist one to each. 84 magic armor, 130 physical. Well, we're, we're learning about, uh... We're learning about, uh, things. Oh, hey. We still have some of the quests here. The Nameless Isle. Champion of the God, Red, Red Prince. And uh, there's absolutely nothing in there. Alright, that's pretty oh, good. Hey, Alright, he's selling a rune frame. I'm gonna grab that. The rune frame of power. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, he's selling some runes too. Should I grab some of these? A giant masterwork rune? I mean, we, we just like the, the physical runes, really. Yeah, so the giant masterwork rune. Uh, flame. That's a crit chance on a necklace. Dodging and accuracy. Heh. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to start looting chests. Oh, gold. Nice. Yeah, I think I'll, I'll get the rune, because we're running out of runes. Earth, Earth tongue mushroom. Fuck that. Skull. Gee, wait. How much is that skull worth? 60? Send that to beast. Okay, I think I'm almost done selling. Well, I'm almost done. Oh, that's... Yeah, that'll do. How is this a beach at all? It's just full of rocks. So there's a giant masterwork rune and another rune of power. Oh, there's nothing here. So how jealous are you that, uh... 
my my partner was DTF and yours was like. Hey man, I grabbed a twirless beard. That's pretty DTF. I mean, I don't know, man. Twirling the beard, fuck. I'm just keeping things uh, advertiser friendly. Oh, uh, Okay. Bloodied arm. Fuck yeah. I'll Sabiel. I have a present <laughs> for you. <laughs> uh, store. Uh, we send to Sabiel. All right, eat that shit. You're a young magister devoted to Dallas. You fight alongside paladins. The order united in battle, fighting the Black Ring, as in the Great War. It's the proudest moment of your life, and then it's the last. Okay. Arrow shaft. Magister, dead on the beach. What a surprise. I already said that. Well. I guess we'll continue up this way. I don't see a reason not to go up this way. Oh, I'm a Duvia. Yeah, give me that. Yeah, you can have that. Fuck that. I like how you're just in charge of collecting I everything. I fancy a swim. Fancy time for a little swim. I mean, there's some Blackwing Defilers here, but, like, they're already enemies. Defiling, are they? I mean, Sabiel can't quite see them from here. Well, there's Delros up there, and he's a friend, apparently. Who? Oh, yeah. Okay, fine. Up there is apparently friendly. Oh, uh, yeah. It's true. How do we get up here? We don't have to go to. Oh, actually, we can walk up there, can't we? Yeah, we can. Who the hell is this person? Dead Magister Priestess. Uh, let me just Quick leave these. Uh, the Magister has an arrow notched on his raised bow. He falters. A glimmer of recognition crosses his face, followed a moment later by a wry smile. My Fort Joy Savior. I never thought I'd clap eyes on you again. You always seem to catch me at a low ebb, unfortunately. My troop was slaughtered by Black Ring. I'm the only survivor. What are you doing here? Say your god walking. Somewhere on this island lies your destiny. A skeptical eyebrow arches upwards. You, god -woken. That seems unlikely. Never mind. There are more important matters at hand. Bishop Alexander and the others might still be out there. I need to find them. Let me stay by your side for now. You can count on my bow in any fights to come. Frown, did he say Alexander is here? He nods. I never thought I'd follow him. Not after Fort Joy. But he won over us veterans. Magister and Paladin alike. He's like a different man, now that he's found the path to divinity. He broke free from Dallas and Breedman's influence, and they tried to murder him for it. Them and their white Magisters. Us loyalists had to stand by his side. The fracturing of the Divine Order, the Void Woken Crisis, multiple attempts on his life. He's let none of it deter him. Now Ascension is within sight at last. Time to come along and stay close. He slings a quiver of arrows across his back and nods. Eyes sharp. You frown with surprise. Oh, shit. Alexander vanished along with all the others when the... Time you got to work in this... So, I, sorry, I tried to listen in again. You assumed he was dead. What? Take your leave. Done. Oh. Because I'm... I'm talking to you right now. Oh, what? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> uh, Beast, you're listening on this, uh, buddy? No, I guess not. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've got questions for him, and he better have answers. Or his second death will be even more painful than the first. And I'm going to say this out loud anyway. I've got questions for him, and he'd better have answers. Or his second death will be even more painful than the first. If he thinks that one will uh, that one will replace Daddy Dearest, he's in for a surprise. Has as many lives as a cat, it seems. Let's see if he acts like one when cornered. Wow, Beast had nothing to add to this. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'm not sure. Oh, there is some shit here, but are you just gonna go take the mushroom? Alright, you wanna go kill Black Ring dudes? Dude, I could go for some killing right now. My name is not important. And what level are they? Like, are they even a challenge? Wow. That's rude to ask. They're level 16. So, uh, they're mm. on our level now. No, no, no they're not kind actually. <laughs> I mean, just below our levels on even our level. Even my kind of. structures do more damage than you. <laughs> Hello, gentlemen. I'm making some friends. Hello, nurse.
<laughs> He's just dead! Did he just die? He's just dead! Uh. I don't know, do we want to try and save this guy? I guess, let's try and save him. Let's what the fuck? <laughs> How much fucking life does he have? <laughs> not enough, apparently. I, I'll be honest, I didn't quite expect that, but I won't lie. Fuck. Dude, I don't want- okay, this is gonna be like that fucking chicken all over again. <laughs> is this an escort quest? Yeah, like, I gotta fight- I'm just gonna look at where to fucking bring uh, What, what health does he with. have? Maybe- maybe he was like- maybe- you know, let's give him the benefit of the doubt, let's just say, maybe he was already wounded. Right? Maybe- maybe- No, I think he's a full health. Maybe- maybe it's the fault of our healer for not healing him. Hey, you can't shame ping me. I know, I'm already shamed. Up. Alright, uh, My fuck. Fault. You always uh, seem to catch me at a low stomach. ebb, unfortunately. A skeptic. You, Bishop Alexander, and the others might still. He not. I never. He broke right. the fracturing of. He slings eyes shut. Alright, and talk to. Oh, Beast can now join the conversation. Also, this guy has absolutely. Uh, yeah, he does actually. He's suck. level 9! Surprise. Alexander okay. vanished along with all the others when the Lady Vengeance breached the Hall of Echoes. You can just skip through this. I don't know why you're waiting. questions for him. I need better. Has as many. Ah, cutting him down a second time will be even more satisfying than the first. And this time, it'll be permanent. This time. Thanks, Beast. Alright, let me see where to take him. <laughs> this dude is level 9, let's get him out of yeah, here. Yeah, I know, I know. Let me see where to take him. Um. You have to escort him to the temple. Uh, oh, apparently we're like, well, okay, where, where is he? Can I talk to him? I won't lie. It's good to have, all right. We can, we can, he holds his ground. actually, there is something we can do. Sooner I find my, he slings eyes sharp. I have an idea. One second. He's gonna leave at the waypoint? I won't lie. No. It's good, to, all right. He holds his ground. All right, I, I, I kept, I put him on Lady Vengeance. The destination pick. So just deposited him there? Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's now play the game. Now we don't have to worry about him. We'll come back and get him when we want him? Yeah. Bad man. Hello, my name- Oh, dude, I have a Phoenix Dive Potion? <laughs> How'd you get that? Oh, no, 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 sorry, Stone Skin Potion. Never mind. I'm yeah, not... I gave you a Stone Skin Potion because I was like, yeah, yeah, it's pretty clutch. Hello, gentlemen. Fuck, Seville's in the fight. Wait, how did they see her? What the fuck? I call cheats. Alright. I mean, who do we want to focus? I mean, I'm gonna just kill this Black Room Reaver with Seville, so... I'm gonna maybe delay turn or something. I mean, you do you! Yeah, I'm gonna delay, fuck it. El Hoste, as you would say. He is El Hoste. Yeah, you got fucking wrecked. Alright. Yeah, that guy's no magic armor. Da 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 what? I'm sorry, it's a girl, oh shit. Yeah, we're fucking misgendering people. What the fuck? What kind of fucking YouTube channel is this? This is illegal in Canada now. Alright, so now that this is a. Now that I'm fucked. Uh, let's do this. Well, you stunned her. Wait, did I not go invisible? Why was I not you didn't, invisible? Didn't, because you're standing in lightning. Yeah, how does that fucking matter? I don't know, man. Oh, you're not invisible because you're standing in a fucking puddle of blood. Oh, no. Puddle of lightning blood. Whatever, she's stunned anyway. Ghost right. blood. So, and then... And then... No, wait, she, no. Hurt, hurt. I'm so mad right now. Alright, save our points. <laughs> I was gonna, like, it's like... I was like, oh, I'm not gonna oh, hey, the armor. there's blood for you. Oh, you were gonna, you were, you were gonna, you were gonna, you were gonna fucking reactive armor? I was gonna, I was gonna overpower her. Oh, you got wrecked, actually. I mean, I could have brought down some of it with know. Red Prince, but, you know. So, motherfucker, I put you in the blood. <laughs> you know, fucking whatever, dude. They have a vanilla champion, good job. Glory is mine. Glory is mine, itch. You know, you picked Efan and never used that wolf you one time. It's very sad. It's cause it's not good. Oh, you're saying Efan's shit? 
I mean, the reason I picked him was because, like, you were like, yeah, it's because he has the wolf. I was like, yeah, you're right. Who else would have you would would you pick though? That's white. Who else would you have picked? I don't know. Maybe Fane. Maybe the wife would be Fane. Maybe Losi. Louise. Okay, I can't really get over there. Losi. Lo Louise. No. <laughs> I don't even know what I want to do here. Just gonna move up slightly and fucking just dot our man. Shit thing. Why? Uh, I have one point left. Uh, it's not—it's not a good enough occasion. I'll have to bring out the the just the normal wine. You know, I'm glad you have it in the backup though. Just in case, you know. No, oh, just minus seven. <laughs> Do you remember when I used to remove my pets? Yeah, man. Those are some odd times. I'll yield to none. All right, you'll yield to none, huh? I'm having wait, flashbacks I thought to I, Divinity 1. Wait, wait. I thought I did fucking... What did adrenaline? I Adrenaline? Yeah. Why didn't she adrenaline? Fuck if I know, man. The fuck? Is something game hap sucks. Is something's happening with this. I, I, it's on cooldown, too, so I know I used it. Well, that happened to me once. Like, when I used the building, the game was like, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Yeah, but like, what the fuck? But she doesn't have the adrenaline debuff on her, so... Okay, so why is nothing working for me right now? <laughs> well, apparently Flash Sacrifice and Blood Arrows worked. Apparently killing worked. Whatever, I'll just kill her next time. Uh, what, you didn't get it, you didn't get my red pins, the fuck? He needs encouragement, he's drunk. What's wrong with you? Sorry, you're right. I mean, you're right, you're right. It's, uh, yep, yep. I'll host and i That'll sit the point. Alright. Uh, at this point I need to destroy her armor though, so fuck I'll knock her down. Ah, uh, that, there we go. Alright. Was that a him? I don't know anymore. Beat him up. Doesn't matter. Beat him up? Can't miss gender what people when they're dead. What kind of damage did the guy do? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, 200. 200. Alright, how much damage do I do? A bit more. So why is yours, like... Why is it yours more than that? I don't know. Maybe because my weapon's shit? I don't know. What level is your weapon, actually? Your Probably crap. Invaders. What is this? We must proceed with extreme caution. Dude, that's my actually, middle have name. Actually, you, have you looked at this fucking thing here? What thing? Where? Like the portal of the waterfall? That, like, that's amazing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely use it. Alright. Let me go over here. <laughs> you guys are shocked. Almost. Alright, go get the, go ah! get the glory. Kill is mine. Did the fucking con it flex? Has he always been flexing? Okay, <laughs> is there no hidden things here? I'm go. glad you checked. Oh, well, because I need to eat something. <laughs> what the fuck? What would you do? What? Look at this. What? Look, look a beast. Chemical warfare grenade. Wait, what? Where, where does he have it? <laughs> it's in the ground. Chemical warfare grenade. Fucking chemical warfare. Yeah. yeah there really is a portal here. What the fuck? I didn't I sign up for. Swim. I didn't sign up for fucking. I finally can go teleport fishing. Okay, so why does it look like? This is accessible, but it's not. I guess we have to really do go fishing. Can I, can I fly into the portal? No, I can't. You're saying we can't time for a little swim? Maybe it drains later on in the game. Nah. Nah, it's not I, I'm literally looking at a drain, so yeah, maybe. No, no, it's not gonna happen. It's stuck there forever. Black Ring Orders. Eliminate the remaining magisters where they landed and gather at the Temple of Ralic to proceed with its destruction. Okay. Oh, Ralic? I don't know. That's my god. Dead paladin. You're, you're, oh, there's a purging wand here. Neat. Enjoy. Oh, 
ultimate augmental herb. Give me that. Ultimate? Oh, shit. It's ultimate. I need that. Fuck off. Uh. Oh, that's not the Lady Vengeance. That's another ship. Oh, dude, I, I see fucking... Oh, wait, there's people here. The Black Ring Captain. Is he a part of... No, I think I was supposed to bring him to the temple. Where, where did he say? Familiar face. Where does he want to go? Uh, he joined the Divine Order, so yeah, probably not friends with the, the, the Black Ring. Also, A hulking what? Black Ring Captain glares at you with his one eye. The other one, a weeping socket surrounded by recent burn wounds. You're no one of mine. You're not from headquarters either. Explain yourself, or I'll open you up and rip out an answer myself. Ah, Captain, please let this one pass. He's a loyal disciple of the God King. A clandestine agent working against our enemies. I can vouch for him. Your mystery advocate gives you a pointed look. It suddenly comes back to you. An execution of Black Ring prisoners halted at the Black Pits and grateful life spared. That same prisoner speaks on your behalf now. Ooh. Remember, yeah, remember the guy we let go? Yeah. That's him. He saved my life, in fact. Mm. All right. Pass freely and don't interfere with a conjurer. All right, where's the conjurer so I can go interfere with them? The captain tries to angle the blade of his sword to catch a glimpse of his injuries in its reflection. He winces at the damage before seeing you approach. What? That's why they're camped here by the water. We had orders to storm the orc temple and tear it down. But that place is riddled with traps. Lost half my men. Lost my eye. That conjurer was sent to help us. She's flooding the temple with seawater. <laughs> Not good. It looked like we couldn't manage. But the next one... The next one I'll take if it costs me every soldier under my command. Thomas sees flooding the orc temple at once and move his troops out. Don't be bloody soft. That temple has to go, and ten fathoms of water will serve just as well as fire and battering rams. Uh... Let's see. What, what do you, I think you'd have a lot of constitution and strength, right? I can just look at him. Yeah. Um, Let me inspect him for you. I'm, I'm already inspecting him. Thanks. I think uh, constitution is the play. So that the temple is done for, he would be better off redeploying his troops elsewhere so he can be more used. Yeah, baby. All right. We should go wherever the God King needs us. Move out. On the double! Neat. Well, we just talked about that. Just like, hey, stop! We managed okay. to stop the portal that was flooding it. Yeah, literally, I... We stopped the flooding portal. Or no, we didn't. I don't know what the fuck we did, actually. Okay. Uh, well, I mean... Now there's a no chest... No one will ever know. Now there's a chest here that we can just loot. Oh, we want a rain scroll? Here you go. And have this, too. They're both stolen. Hey, thing I knew we could do. Because I see, I see a giant fucking circle here, and they have, obviously have a ship here. That's a really fucking neato ship. Oh, would you like apple juice and milk? Of course you would. Efan needs it. I'm gonna look at this beach. I don't give a shit anymore. Okay, fine. I'm coming. This is my beach. Oh, Chanterelle. Yeah. Starfish. Fuck's over here. Fishbone. Organic oh, matter that could be turned to purposes of light and something. Oh shit, human skeleton. Also, there's a chest here. Oh, That's charming so arrow for Seville. A laced scale helmet. I mean, I don't know. I'll give it to Beast since he seems to be having armor uh, armor uh, inadequacies right now. Need some fucking like Viagra Whee! or something. What? Yeah, that is actually an upgrade. Yeah, you might as well take it. Uh, at this point, I'm going to start giving you all the better armor stuff that I find. You, you'll get first priority. I lose a point of warfare, though, but... Uh... Like you do damage anyways. The warfare is more like I lose a point of health for that. Yeah, it's not too much. I'll, whatever, I'll take it. Oh, we can go to the Temple of Relic if we want to. Oh, wait, the portal's just fucking gone now. Just awkwardly. Oh, hey. Guess what's happening? 
the, yeah. the thing that you definitely did not say that would happen. Temple of Orcs, let's go. You get some fucking fish. Dude, do we really want to be doing this now? This feels like we fucking, like... Dude, this, we is just... this is a crocodile! He's confused, dude! Oh shit, I'm gonna go talk to him. A saltwater crocodile looks around, seemingly disoriented. It spots you. Where the water go? Why does my head hurt so much? Offer to rub the be crocodile's belly. Go right to sleep and he'll feel better in no time. The crocodile glowers at you blearily. That only works with alligators. Now leave me alone. Ugh. The crocodile remains slumped where you left him, still recovering from his ordeal. My head. Ugh. I mean, do we really want to go to the Temple of Orcs right now? <laughs> Don't you, motherfucker? Like, you know what? You're get some orcs. You're, you're right. Fuck yeah. Let's get, let's get in there. Okay, we're in the Temple of Orcs. Like, we literally just got here. We're fucking in, in temples now. Alright. I mean, we don't have much else to... Like, we should end the episode soon, but... Fuck it. Let's just trigger fucking hour-long dialogue. What's this thing do? If I'm to understand this correctly, it reads... Walk safely in Vrogir's path. So this is, um... It looks like this place gave the Black Ring a bloody nose. Suppose if we try to go down there, we get up with, yeah. Well, spears. The spirit of a black ring defiler frantically drags something or someone backwards with both hands. He glances around for help as he retreats. Something beneath his heel clicks. Help! Somebody knows the flame! Goes the flame! A spectral arrow suddenly lodges itself between his eyes with a hollow thwack. His face turns slack and confused before he collapses backwards in a heap. Oh, I thank you. The spirit of a black ring witch flails and writhes on the floor, engulfed by ghostly flames. An unseen force hauls her backwards, as if to bring her to safety. The faint sound of an arrow being hmm. loosed echoes through the hall. Whatever force has been dragging the witch abruptly stops. She goes limp. The flames consume her. Nice. Find a book I want to read. Uh, are you trying to become God Woken without me, you fuck? I thought we'd be in this together. Also, this is very, uh, space agey. Also, are you reading the book or no, you gave it to me? I gave the book to you because that's probably what you want to read. Uh, you had a vision bathed in light. That has something to do with how to get out of here? Mm, I don't think it does. I, I skimmed wow. through it. And didn't seem to have anything. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and solve the uh, the room here, real quick. Uh, we'll we'll send to we'll send Found to Beal. Key. Obviously, the key will have no use here. Can't. Okay. I'm gonna save for no reason. Careful. I've oh shit. The trap. Oh <laughs> shit. I fucking panicked and then clicked a bunch of stuff. Did you poop? Yeah, kind of. I've spotted a trap. I mean, this is easiest game of my life. A lot of shit on the floor, though. Maybe I need to hire wits or something. Look out! I see a trap nearby. Because I see buttons on the floor, so I don't want to press them. Uh, let's see. What, what else is Careful here? Careful now. That's a trap. Okay. Careful! I've spotted oh. a trap. Oh. Because I'm not touching these buttons. That, that sounds fucking awful. Uh, what's over here? I wonder. Careful. Death. I've spotted a trap. Is the traps even there? Yeah, they are. Actually, I guess because like well, if you try to like, teleporting up there. Careful! I've spotted a trap. All right. Are you teleporting here? It's getting corpses every second. Loot them. <laughs> Rather than going down there to my yeah, it's pretty fucking it's pretty fucking dangerous. Let me tell you. Okay, it's looking like there isn't much I else here. Something. Oh, oh, cool, red prince. The fuck over here. Delicious. Do we even have shovels anymore? 
Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh, Eternal yeah. artifact. <laughs> I think I have a shovel. Ah, oh, there's a ballista here. Oh, dude, orcs. Remember when we fought orcs in the first game? Uh, kind of. Alright, let me let me bring Red Prince over here. It looks safe. Uh, alternative vigor. The grim drip, drip, drip of flood water and the bloated body at your feet make this place feel more like a defiled tomb than a temple. Nevertheless, you approach the altar. Uh, kneel and mutter a prayer. Your vision clouds and you open your eyes to a dark glade. Before you lies a bull, trapped beneath a fallen tree. It stares at you with malevolent eyes. As you watch, it transforms to a bear, claws digging into the earth as it struggles to dislodge the log. You blink, and it turns again. A gorilla now. It's vaulted back, pushing hard against the wood. After a few more minutes struggle, it slumps to the ground, defeated, and its contemptuous eyes return to you. Strength, it barks gutturally. Give me your vigor. Uh Fine. I'll let it drain me. The god shifts shape again, contorting into a snake. Grimacing, you reach out your hand, and Vrogir sinks his fangs deep into your palm. You feel his curse spreading throughout your body as your strength starts to ebb away. At the same time, the snake grows stronger and starts to pulse with a faint light. You drag your hand back before the very last of your vigor slips away, and you stand hunched over and gasping for breath. The gentle glow within Vrogir grows brighter until you struggle to look at him. The god bursts into yellow flame, searing its way through the log. Vrogir transforms again, standing before you in his true orcish form, before snorting in derision and walking away. The vision slowly fades, and you are back in the temple. The smell of damp death filling your nostrils. You see that a crude sun pictograph has been hacked into the altar's rock. Am I just... I'm, I'm cursed forever. <laughs> Don't get over it. Is it just permanent? How do you get over cursed? Oh, cool. You did it. Thanks. Hey, there's uh... There's... Eh, let me drink that. Mmm, <laughs> good delicious. Yo. I was the only told not to eat up the floor. <laughs> Go get the fucking pen bunny. But for sauce, I'll make an exception. I'll do this shit here. All right, time to make dinners. Wait, I, I have, you actually gave me alertness herb mix? <laughs> no, was that what you got from like a while ago? Oh, was it? Dude, why can't I make dinner with fire and fish? The fuck? Dude, how the fuck? What? Not even ribs? You can't even cook ribs. What kind of bullshit Fish is this? Fish pie dough. Let's go, baby. Nope. No, I don't think it's... I think I think we're like fucking snobs and this doesn't count as a real fire. Alright, let me get us. You didn't try to ignore this fucking tablet? Alright, yeah, yeah. One second. What tablet? This one? All right, Red Prince, read it. Vrogia's culture was so focused on brutality and violence, yet they write so beautifully on it. Well, good, good talk. It was important, all right. Yeah. yeah. Hey, look, a switch. Uh, where's the switch? Oh, right there. All right. So we'll press the switch. An ancient-looking lever stands before you. It's still damp from the recently receded flood waters. Take a closer look. There's a small slot in the side of the lever, almost like a keyhole. Insert the key into the slot, pull lever. A deep rumble heralds the wall beyond sliding downwards, a hidden door. Ooh, all right. Come, Red Prince. Oh god, it goes deeper. <laughs> this is what you signed up for, fucker. You're like, oh, let's not end the fucking episode. Let's fucking go into the deep ass fucking- Hey, we wanna fucking go in? Let's go in, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, armory, fuck. Now I really want to fucking continue this. You piece of shit. Okay, we're ending the episode, you fuck. Cause... But I'm gonna pick up this mushroom first. Nothing you can do about it. I mean, there, there's a fucking thing here to talk to. I don't know, I really shouldn't right now. Yeah, okay. Uh, but bye guys, we'll do this later. Bye. Goodbye! Oh god! <laughs> you fucker! <laughs>